Hello guys and welcome to James Bonnet Photography and Models. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you part of my Eddie Stobart collection which I don't think I've shown you before. And this is all the paperwork and stuff that I've hidden underneath. The layout next to my real Eddie Stobart truck panel and my uh, Eddie Stobart jerry can. So, onto the first folder. Let's have a look what I have in my archives. Right, so here we have my folder one. This is of course a new folder because um, <coughs> the old one decided to break on me. So what do we have in here? We have some very old letters dating all the way back to October 1998. That's the first thing in here. Uh, this one's a letter thanking me uh, for a drawing I sent in of the Eddie Stobart train. I got passed on to the wherever. This is back when, of course fan club wasn't in the depot it was on 27 Castle Street Carlisle so this is going back quite a way that's 6th of October 98 then uh, 24th of October 98 it was on Kingsta Kingston Industrial Estate where it is now this they actually sent me uh, a photograph I think I have that in a frame somewhere of Chiara that's uh, an Italian name for Radio 2 DJ Ed Stewart at the time and fleet number 1523 and it's very official paperwork as you can see I make sure I put them in order because I like it in order and we've got 98 again but this time December uh, again for another picture I'd sent in we've got here I've got a bundle I don't like them when they put that bundle together right there we are February 99 uh, Again, photos into the club. March 2000. A letter saying yes for depot tour, and that they were going to truck fest, but it wasn't finalised. 2000. Uh, thanks for the picture again. I sent a lot of pictures when I was younger. Oh, they're not in order here. We've got some going back to 99. So, March, April, September 99. All the letters about that. And we've got May 2000. Don't quite know what dates on that one. Hmm, they would actually put one on. But hey, okay. it can go there. And it's not only am I showing you, I'm also sorting these out. Uh, November 2000 something so that's a big chunk took off the bottom so there was obviously something on that but it was saved anyway it might have been my new member membership card uh, another letters thanking me Again, it's had a bit cut out the side. That's where the header was. I think I needed that bit for something. But it's 
that's all the all part of my collection. Then we've got move on to fan club spotter books. This is the 1998 edition, second edition for that year, and look how thin it is. Really thin compared to the modern ones. I didn't really do a lot of spotting back then either, but they're really nice. They went to town on them better than they do now, uh, but they only had 700 trucks in 98. Now look at them. I've got tons. Now I've got the 99 third edition. And this, this is when they opened the glass house. Of course, that's really overgrown in that now. And it's a shame that's now shut to the public because I like that place. It was nice. Uh, 2000, 4th edition, glass house in the back again, and you've got the foreign fleet on there. And this is when they launched the website for the first time. And it's eddiestobart.co.uk. Then, I'll also say this, which is uh, now got this model. 30th anniversary set. Is that a cutting for some sort of magazine? What else have we got in here? Order forms, sale leaflets, uh, fleet updates for 98. Uh, that starts to be filled out for something, and that was also fleet updates fleet updates there as well I've seen spotted a lot of them that year uh, then clipping out of a uh, newspaper of the Robin Reliant Eddie Stobart wagon because uh, that's from around Nottinghamshire uh, it still is now but it's under a different owner and it's actually based in Mansfield I do believe I've got more fleet updates and offers and that there we've then got another cutting out of a newspaper and it's a funeral uh, trucker Derek Park made his final journey to his funeral in his Eddie Stobart lorry. So obviously it was a Stobart driver who died and then the company had uh, turned the truck into a funeral wagon for his funeral. Uh, I presume that was out the sun, yes it is. 9th of October 2000. Then, also in the collection, got a bit missing out the back which is the order form this is the shop what was the shop then there wasn't much on offer we've actually got all of those by one in this collection yeah we've got more books Trying to get to the newsletters. Another, another collection book. And here we are, the Stobart Express. Spring 1999. I do believe these are what they had before. Spot on magazine. And this told you all about the business. And now, of course, it's Spot on magazine. At Christmas, then it went to Stobart News. It went into a proper broadsheet newspaper. Again, it was like spot on magazine. Then 
here we are. We have 99 spot on, which is very small, very thin. Basically the same news as the Stobart Express. I presume this must have been at the same time as the Stobart Express thing, because it's sort of the same date. It must have combined the two at some point. What else have we got in the bottom? We have an um, opens some sort of magazine article. That I've cut out. There's no picture though. Um, something fleet lists going right up to. 2004 in this one and then there's bits and bobs and all sorts that keeps going and going so that's folder one so folder two looks exactly like folder one except for it's in the order it's the oldest at the bottom newest at the top well sort of there's a few 2011s at the bottom but it looks quite good Oh, and there's not staying where well, I want it to. There we are. Got some collection books. Let's take a look at what the collection of 2007 would have looked like. Or oh, you could get a little mini moto bike. 600 pan. Of course, that's illegal. Then they have the rally team. Motorsport, selling off the old stuff. Got, got, not got the Nerf. Not got the chilled one. Not got those. Not got those. I've well, got two of them. Got those not got the mini racer we've got that one though Stobart signature collection I remember that bears there's the bedding stuff I've got all but the alarm clock anyway that's 2007 collection might be messing this up this folder not bothered as long as it's still in my collection at the end of the day uh, let's have a look at the 2005 spotters handbook out of this one rather than just looking at it all oh, oh, we've got a fleet, fleet update there uh, it's when they've also got the website launch part again properly but again it's not very full compared to the one I have now them in there. Those are different handbooks. They're all mixed up in this folder, even though it is to get. That's quite a nice picture on the 2010 one. This one, they obviously didn't bring one out because it's 2010 11. And then we've got 2011 Summer Spot On magazine, and that completes that folder. I might put in the Atlas Editions trucks and trailers into that one. The season one was in 2010-11 season, so that can go in there now. That came with the Atlas Edition as well, the Stobart collection. Yeah, episode one and two on DVD. So not only have we got folders, we've got oh, pictures like this, the Blackpool ride, still there. Meet Blackpool with a stay of art t-shirt on, cat, and then they've got the depot tour of Crick, no longer there, it's now Sainsbury's. But how ironic that they actually operate out of there.
and we've got a 2015 calendar bits and bobs Stobart Mobile, never joined it Stobart Fest window sticker we've got a tax disorder we've got, we've got biomass leaf uh, brochures Stobart Fest two years running things we've got another calendar decor set and some books there right on to the next folder underneath that we've got the 2016 calendar and we've got Nottingham Evening Post which has me in it that's also part of my collection now the day I became famous now we already know I'm famous anyway <laughs> you watch my channel and this one's filled with more recent stuff and then we've also got another folder which is just out of camera which is filled out with the really latest stuff the old stuff is the nicest that one is Edward Stobart so all them sit just there underneath the layout here to show you ev absolutely everything in my collection then it's going to be at least a five hour long video so I'm just keeping it brief showing you bits and bobs which you find interesting just here uh, we have some magazines like commercial motor and stuff like that which have articles about Eddie Stobart we've also got some model magazines down there as well that photo in the gold frame is the one that was with that letter which I showed you earlier. We've got a few empty boxes down here. Then we've got some of the Atlas Editions plate collection. I didn't keep that going because plates don't do it for me. Then we've also got the car transporter model and then some World of Stobot models there as well. All kept underneath. You might have saw few seconds ago as well. Underneath we have a red control model and then a load of other models all stacked up. We've also got the money boxes underneath there. And this is the big huge wall which is uh, stacked quite high. Some of these are my first ever models that I owned. And the collection just keeps growing and growing. We've even got 
remnants of old Stobot T. I've also got the Trampers truck stops. Got a few Code Threes here as well. And then this is what my models used to look like. This is the model depot I used to have years and years ago. We also have an old Corgi playmat. There might be a few there because there's a few different ones. Got some stickers membership joining letters, another collection book, then we've got all the Steady Eddy books, all of them, complete set. Looks like a complete set of the Steady Eddy models. There's a few stuff hidden behind there as well, mouse mat and stuff like that. There's Teddy Bear up here as Edward Stobart's signature, although the book in my Eddie Stobart story thing which also has the gold plated model also has Edward Stobart's signature the only book to be signed with his signature and there's the great man himself I had a photo with when I was younger and then we all know this year 2016 I met his brother William Stobart who is also now in charge And that's there. So on the ceiling here we have a few old posters and kinders or cut up and truck and driver poster and a cool art laminated picture. We've also got both copies of Eddie's Stairwalk story, one for the dad and one for Edward. We've got both CDs and the Steady Eddie CD. Then got the Alan Miller Eddie Stairwalk ABC book. We've got all the seasons that are available on DVD for trucks and trailers. We've got Convoy, Stobart DVD, and then we've got three volumes of Steady Eddie. We are missing one, and I can't get hold of that one. But it's a rare one to get hold of. And not forgetting, I've got my one of a kind ticking clock as well. <laughs> 